Hello sweet soul and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ina and today we're going to celebrate Halloween by releasing our fears, getting on our mats, release whatever is not serving us anymore and sweating a little bit. So we're going to work with a little bit of balancing poses, breath work and just a little bit of strength building and flexibility building poses so that you get over that fear of anything that is scaring you. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, get seated comfortably on your mat and let's begin. And we're going to begin by wiggling around, grounding through our hips into the ground while pulling our head up to the sky. Shoulders forwards, up, backwards and down, let them kiss and allow yourself to feel the connection that you're building within yourself, with you and the mat, your breath. And just enjoy a couple of deep breaths. So sealing your lips on your inhale, relaxing your jaw. Exhale, let it all go. Maybe pulling the navel to your spine to release any stale air. If you feel safe, you can close your eyes. And we're going to repeat that four more times. Deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Three more. Allowing this fresh air to completely fill up your entire being, creating space, and take everything with it on your exhale that is no longer serving you. Two more, slow them down and deepen them even more. Last round. Taking a moment to notice how you're feeling and how those deep breaths grounded you already. We're going to continue with Brahmari, which is the humming deep breath. We're going to repeat it three times. You will plug your ears after I'm done explaining. Take the deepest inhale that you can and then start humming like a bee. You can try different frequencies and see whichever works best for you today, whichever makes you feel most grounded and reconnected. And you can use your hands to cover your eyes while you keep your thumbs plugged in your ears, or you can just hold your own head. So just see whatever works for you and enjoy. Let's get started. <laughs> Plugging your ears and deep inhale.
Keeping your shoulders back and down, keeping your neck long. Feeling your heartbeat. Feeling each cell in your body hum. Take one more deep round of breath. Deep inhale. And sigh it all out on your exhale. Ah. <laughs> Whenever you feel ready, coming into your child's house. So bringing your toes together at the bottom of your mat. And now see if it feels better to have your knees together, hip width apart, or even further than that. Allowing your hips to sink into the heels. Allowing your hands to ground into the floor. Your neck is long and try to aim to bring your heart space and your forehead to the floor. Maybe you can work your hands a little further to the top of your mat. If it feels good, maybe shifting your hips from left to right or maybe rolling up your forehead from left to right. Deep breath here. Two more. Last one, really filling up your entire body with fresh air. And on the exhale, pulling your nail to your spine. Getting rid of any stale air. On your next inhale, keeping your hips where they are, walking your hands even further to the top of your mat. And on your exhale, walking your hands over to the right side. Maybe you can clasp your left on top of the right, really grounding through your left hip, creating a lot of space in your left side body, keeping your neck long. And really reaching with your left hand as far as you can over to the right. You can always move your hips a little from left to right. That always feels really good to me. It's not an official pose, but wherever I can include intuitive movement, I will. <laughs> so be, uh, feel free to do the same. And then just breathe into your left side body. Last breath. Last inhale. Exhale, returning back to your center. Inhale, walking your hands even higher. And exhale, moving hands over to the left, clasping your hands on top of your left, or finding any variation that works for you. Lengthening your neck, maybe again shifting a little bit from left to right. Keep breathing. Enjoying every pose, allow it to reconnect you to yourself and to your breath. To pay attention to what you need today, what you need to let go of. Deep inhale. Exhale, turn back to center for one deep breath of breath. Paying attention here to how your body is feeling, checking in with yourself. And inviting a sense of creativity and playfulness and just allow this practice to transform you in any way that you might need right now. On your next inhale, one vertebra at a time, rolling up, coming onto your hands and your knees into your tabletop position, taking a moment to adjust so that your wrists are below your shoulders, your fingers are spread wide, your knees are hip width apart, your toes are pointing back, pushing your hands into the floor and pulling the navel to your spine. Maybe quickly shaking out your toes and then just noticing how this pose is feeling. On your next inhale, bringing your shoulders back and down, dropping the belly, lifting the sacrum and maybe even the head. Exhale, pressing through your hands, rounding your back. Spreading your shoulders, looking towards your navel. Two more deep inhale, shoulders back and down, dropping the belly, 
Lifting the sacrum and the heart. Exhale, round. Pressing through your hands. Last one. Try to notice every single muscle in your body. Now, if you feel safe, closing your eyes, but either way, moving intuitively. So rolling up your spine, your neck if it's healthy, or moving in any way, shape, or form that your body's asking for right now. Allowing yourself to be creative and playful and just inviting any sensation and any new sensation in your body. Does that, it doesn't have to look a certain way, it just needs to feel good. Releasing any thought of doing it wrong, but just enjoying yourself. Letting your body speak and just listen. Maybe enjoying big movements or small. Either way, trying to stay connected with your breath. If a spot feels especially good, maybe just pausing there. Couple rounds of breath. What can you notice in your body? What can you do to treat yourself better on and off your mat? After your last round of breath, returning back to your center, making sure you have the correct alignment, grounding into the left hand, inhale, lifting your right hand all the way up, maybe look up, exhale, thread the needle, bring your right hand below your left hand, right palms facing up, maybe you can come down onto your right shoulder, your right side of your head, maybe you want to move your left hand up to the top of your mat or anywhere else, then pressing the right top of your hands on the floor, opening up the shoulder a little bit more, deep stretch, pulling your navel to your spine, maybe pulling your right hip a little further back to the right, creating a deep twist. Keep breathing, even if you're restricted here. Sorry, slowly returning back to 
center. Hands back below your shoulders, knees below your hips. Shaking it out, you got this. And then extending your right foot, dropping the foot in one leg at the bottom of your mat, slightly tilting out your left leg behind you. Left wrist is below the left shoulder. Inhale, right hand all the way up. Exhale, palms facing down, bringing your hands maybe even above your head. Deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale, maybe you can reach even further. Exhale, if you want to include the gentle back bend, engaging your glutes, and gently bending backwards, opening up your heart to the sky. Deep inhale. And slowly return back on your exhale, really taking your time. It's not just about the yoga pose, it's about the transition, the feelings, the strength, the control, the everything, the tenderness of yourself. A couple intuitive movements if that feels good. If you need a child's pose, go for it. Child's pose is always there for you. Whenever you feel ready, coming up onto your knees, lifting your hips above your knees. Your glutes are engaged, your pelvis is slightly tucked, your core is engaged. Bringing your shoulders back and down. Bringing your hands above your glutes, fingers facing down or up. Up is a little bit more intense, but it just feels better in my body, so I will choose that variation. And then energetically pulling your elbows towards each other, keeping your neck long. Deep inhale. Lifting from your heart space up to the sky, and on your exhale, maybe you can lean a little back, allowing your hands to stabilize you. You don't have to get in deep, just enjoy the back bend. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly coming back up. Head comes up last, sinking your hips to your heels, grabbing onto your heels, placing the crown of your head on the floor. Lifting your hips up, finding a rabbit pose. Counter stretch for your camel. You did great. Deep breath here. Exhale, let it all go. Deep inhale. Exhale, heels, hips to heels. Either finding a child's pose or repeating the same thing. So your hips are, your knees are hip width apart, your toes are pointing backwards. If you want to find any other variation, go for it. You can tap your toes, reach with your hands for your heels, or do whatever feels good. Shoulders back and down, placing your hands above your glutes, fingers up or down. Remember to really engage the glutes to protect your lower back. Slightly tilting your pelvis, engaging the core, and energetically pulling your elbows towards each other. Or maybe grabbing onto your feet somehow, whatever feels good. And then lifting your heart space up to the sky, gently pushing your heels forwards, opening up your shoulders, maybe letting your head drop back. Deep breath. Exhale, hold. Allow yourself to shake. Deep inhale, exhale, slowly coming back out, head comes up last, releasing your hands, placing them on your heels, like bringing your crown of your head on the floor, and finding your next rabbit here. Deep breath, deep exhale, maybe you can feel your heart beat. Finding a quick child's pose, knees to the floor, Oh, deep breath, reconnecting with yourself. Maybe you can already notice the difference in your body, how you're feeling. If you want to invite any other movement, you can feel free to do that. One more out of breath. And then getting ready and coming into your first downward facing dog of today. Your hands are grounded, fingers are spread wide, hands are shoulder width apart, really pulling, pushing the floor away from you so that your shoulders are pulling to your ears. The elbows are rotating internally so they're closer, pointing closer to the bottom of your mat. 
your neck is long, energetically pulling your tail out to the sky and grounding your heels into the floor. You can keep your knees bent. Maybe you want to start walking your dog. Your feet can be hip width apart or your toes can be touching. See what feels better in your body today and follow along with our judgments. Deep breath. Maybe you want to wag your tail. <laughs> or do anything that feels good right now. Coming onto your tippy toes, on your heels, lifting your toes. Whenever you feel ready, stepping your feet in a little bit um, and bringing them about mat width apart. Deep inhale. And on your exhale, grabbing with your right hand on the outside edge of your left ankle, finding a twisted downward facing dog, looking up below your elbow and your armpit. Deep inhale. Exhale, release, exchanging hands, deep inhale. And exhale, grabbing with your left on the outside edge of your right ankle. Keep breathing, you got this. Deep inhale. Exhale, return back to your downward facing dog. This time, create a bigger distance between your hands and your feet. They're still hip width and shoulder width apart. And then on your inhale, coming up onto your toes, one vertebra at a time, rolling forwards into your high plank, creating a nice, big, slow and strong wave, stacking your shoulders above your wrists, your, uh, your tailbone slightly tucked, your core is engaged, your navel is pulling towards your spine. And on the exhale, bending your neck, knee, look, <laughs> bending your legs, and coming back into your downward facing dog. If you need to adjust, go for it. And then two more rows, deep inhale, moving slowly, like a big wave, through honey. Try to move soft and surrender your flow. Last one. Well done. Coming back to normal downward facing dog, shortening the stance, maybe finding anything that feels good. Coming onto your tiptoes whenever you're ready. Shifting your weight onto your left foot. On your inhale, lifting your right leg all the way up. Try and keep your hips square. Maybe not kicking a tree if you have it. <laughs> Exhale, hold. Engaging both legs. Deep inhale. Exhale, bending your right leg. And try to step in between your hands slowly. Pressing through your hands. And then straightening both legs as much as you can. And try to lengthen your back, finding your pyramid variation. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. If you want it more intense, flexing your front foot. Or don't. <laughs> Maybe you want to wiggle out your hips a little bit, getting into all the muscles and all the sensations. Don't forget to breathe. Deep breath. Well done. On your next inhale, bending both knees, bringing the left knee onto the floor and finding your low lunge. If you need to create more space between your feet for a deeper variation, feel free to do that. Making sure that your hips are square, your left glutes are engaged, and your left leg is in one line with the left hip. You can place your hands on your knees if that feels good. Shoulders back and down. Deep breath. Deep exhale. A couple more. Maybe bringing your hands all the way up, palms facing each other, shoulders are still back and down. Maybe you want to bring your right hand down, your left hand up and over for another deep side stretch. The last inhale, wherever you are. And on your exhale, bringing both hands on the floor and 
pushing back into your half split. Your front leg can stay bent, but please flex the front toes. Your hips are still square. Maybe you want to shift your hips a little from left to right here, whatever feels good. Deep breath. Exhale, let it go. If your body allows, maybe enjoying a gentle forward fold here as well. Keep breathing. On your next inhale, walking your hands back forwards, tucking your back toes, lifting your knee, bringing your hands even higher to the top of your mat, stepping your left foot in, and then lifting your left foot up. You can flex or point your toes, whatever feels better. Deep breath. Maybe you want to open your hips to the sides, bringing your left hip up. And if you want to try to balance here in your half moon, lifting your left hand up as well. Trying to raise both legs, both, <laughs> both top parts of your body <laughs> up to the sky, creating a long back, feeling your strength. Wonderful. And now you start to shake, maybe you're falling out, that's completely fine. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Maybe you want to try to re-square your hips and lift both hands up and your upper body finding a warrior three or airplane. Deep inhale, exhale, lift a little higher. Slowly on your next inhale, bringing your left foot back, finding the crescent on the shoulders back and down. Palms facing each other, left glutes is engaged, hips are square. Deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Maybe sink a little deeper into your hips. Your right knee stays above your right. Not wrist. I always confuse the words. <laughs> Ankle. Shoulders back and down. You're in control. If this is too intense, you can bend your back leg a little bit. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Last inhale. Exhale, dropping the back foot, finding your warrior two. Looking over the front fingertips, your hands are shoulder height. Deep breath. Making sure that your back foot is in one line with the bottom of your mat and that your front knee stays above the ankle. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Your feet are energetically pushing into the floor and towards each other. On your next inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior, and reach for the sky. Deep breath. Exhale, let it all go. Maybe sink a little deeper into your hips. Staying in control. Allow yourself to sweat and to shake and to struggle. It's completely fine. Deep inhale, exhale, right elbow to right knee, left hand up and over, palm facing down, finding your extended triangle. Deep inhale, deep exhale, maybe sinking a little deeper into your hips, using your right elbow to find, find stability. Deep inhale. Exhale, bringing your left hand down next to your right foot, coming back up onto your left toes, finding your high plank position. If you want, you can always come onto your knees if that's too much. Or finding any other variation that, that your body wants today. Shifting onto your right hand, right side of your body, finding your side plank, left hand up and over, palm facing down, pushing through your right hand, Engaging your right glutes. Deep inhale. Exhale, lift your hips higher. Deep inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, bending your left foot, placing the toes behind you. Maybe sinking your hips down for a moment. Getting ready. On your next inhale, swooling your head around you, lifting your hips, engaging your glutes, opening your heart, finding your wild thing. You can place your hands on your heart, your left hand. Or maybe reach somewhere away from you. Or my favorite variation, grab onto your ankle. Deep breath. Pushing through your right foot. 
Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Coming back through your side plank, maybe a variation. And then into your high plank. Lowering your knees. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. <laughs> inhale, shifting forwards, keeping your elbows tucked in. Exhale, lowering down all the way to your belly. Your, your hands stay below your shoulders. Elbows stay tucked in. Deep inhale. Shoulders back and down, lifting your heart, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Two more of this. Or coming onto your fingertips, lifting your elbows up to the sky and coming into your intimidation style cobra. Inhale, creating a big wave all the way up to the spine, to your neck, shoulders back and down. Exhale, melt back down. Two more, whatever you're choosing. Inhale. And exhale. Enjoying the last one really slowly. Well done. Holding a moment, <laughs> finding a moment of really calm, coming into a child's pose for that, catching your breath. <sighs> Wonderful. And now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. What a surprise. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, bringing your hands shoulder width apart again, fingers just spread wide. See if it fits better to have the middle finger or the index finger pointing to the top of your mat. Feet are hip width apart, or toes are touching, whatever you prefer, and then pressing yourself back into your downward facing dog. Maybe finding a moment of stillness, pressing through your hands, engaging your shoulders, pulling your sacrum up to the sky. Deep inhale, deep exhale. On your next inhale, Coming up onto your toes and on your exhale, shifting your weight onto your right foot. Inhale, left, hand, left foot all the way up. Exhale, hold. Trying to keep your hips square and finding engagement in your legs. Deep inhale. Exhale, bending your left leg and trying to bring your knee to your nose and step in between your hands slowly. Deep inhale, and then finding your pyramid variation, whatever feels best. I like coming onto my toes on the back, but you can also find a 45 degree angle. If you want a more intense stretching, uh, flexing your front toes. Deep breaths here. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Now bending into both knees, finding your whole lunge, engaging your right glutes. Deep inhale and exhale, maybe sinking a little bit deeper, shoulders back and down. Inhale, hands up, palms facing each other. Exhale, maybe bringing your left hand to the floor and finding a nice side stretch. Two more deep breaths. You got this. Keep breathing, focus on your breath. Last inhale, exhale, return back to your center, both hands to the front of your mat, and then coming into your half split. Your neck is long, your hips are square, your front foot, your front leg can stay bent, but definitely flex that front toe. Keep breathing. Last round of breath. Maybe folding forwards if you haven't already. On your next inhale, shifting forwards, bending your left leg, tucking your right toes, maybe shortening the stance, bringing your hands to the top of your mat, and then lifting your right foot up, flexing or pointing, staying here, or opening up your hips. Maybe you want to lift your right hand, finding a point of focus. It's okay if you fall out. Make it feel good, make it feel playful. 
and allow yourself to grow through anything that's happening right now. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Maybe you want to bring both hands down, re-square your hips, and then start lifting up, finding your airplane. Maybe if you're falling out like me, just coming right back in. It is okay, keep breathing. Maybe you can lift your back leg a little more. Maybe you can feel that one side is more balanced than the other. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Last inhale. Maybe you're falling out again, that's cool. <laughs> Last exhale. On your next inhale, bringing your right foot back to the bottom of your mat. Shoulders back and down, finding your present lunge. Catching your breath. Deep inhale, deep exhale, maybe bending your back leg if that feels better, your hips are square, align yourself to find your balance, palms are facing each other, left knee is above left ankle, deep inhale, deep exhale, last inhale, exhale, dropping the back foot, finding your warrior two. Your back foot is in one line with the bottom of your mat. Oh, hands are on shoulder height. Looking over your front fingertips. Breathe. Deep inhale. Deep exhale, maybe sinking a little lower. Last round. Inhale, flip and reverse your warrior, reaching far up and over with your left hand. Exhale, finding space in your left side body. Two more rounds of breath. Exhale, find your strength. Breathe through it. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, right hand up and over, palm facing down, finding a long line from your right fingertips to the outside edge of your foot. Try to slow down your breath. Last round. Exhale, let it all go. Last inhale. Exhale, bringing your right hand down. Next to your left foot, coming onto your right toes. And coming into your high plank again. If you want to lower your knees again, go for it. If you're not finding your balance, shifting onto your left side body, lift your right hand up and over, wiggling, shaking, sweating, <laughs> keeping your neck long, deep inhale, lift your left obliques even higher, pressing through your left hand, exhale, hold, inhale, lifting your right knee, right leg, Bending and coming down, maybe not kicking your own wall. Getting ready on your next inhale, lifting all the way up into your wall thing. Whichever variation you chose, go for it and enjoy it. Engaging your glutes, opening up your heart. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Last inhale. And on your exhale, slowly coming back through your side plank variation. And then into your high plank. You can stay on your toes if you like, or lower it back down onto your knees. Either way, inhale, shifting forwards, keeping the elbows tucked in. Exhale, lower down all the way or halfway. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Up dog or cobra for up dog, coming onto the tops of your feet, lifting the knees off the floor, engaging your glutes, shoulders back and down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just for one breath, you did it. <laughs> Very well done. Deep inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Oh, it's very hard to teach this while flowing, <laughs> especially because I just caught this one in person as well. Deep breath. Exhale it all out. Checking back in with yourself.
yourself how you're feeling. Maybe smiling because you're happy that you're strong, that you allow yourself to be playful and creative and invite your inner child to come out and play. <laughs> One more deep breath in your child's pose. Trying to slow your breath back down and reconnect. And then in your own time, coming back onto your back. Tucking your pelvis, your lower back is touching the floor. Your knees are bent, feet are hip width apart. Your hands are next to you, palms facing down. Your neck is long, connected to the floor. Lifting your right leg, flexing the toes. Bending it and placing your right ankle on top of your left leg. Finding your figure four stretch. You can place your right hand on your right inner thigh to deepen the stretch and your left hand on your left hip crease to even out the hips on the floor. Or maybe if your body allows, hugging your left knee in, pressing with your right elbow against your right inner thigh. Maybe shifting your hips from left to right if that feels good. Making sure you're really keeping your right foot flexed so that you are protecting your ankle. Deep breaths here, paying attention to how you're feeling now. Relaxing the shoulders and your jaw. Relaxing your tongue. Last round of breath. On the next inhale, slowly extend both legs and release your figure four. Maybe rolling up your ankles, playing with your toes. And then bending your right leg, place it on the floor, bending your left leg, flexing the foot and placing it on top of the right. Finding your variation, whatever feels best, making sure your pelvis is tucked so that your lower back is touching the floor. Maybe again, hugging your right knee in if your body allows. Including movement or stillness, whatever feels best for you. Deep breath. Where else can you soften in your body? Maybe closing your eyes if you feel safe here. Two more rounds of breath. Last round. Slowly releasing on the inhale, bringing both feet back to the sky, and maybe including your hands, rolling up your wrists, your ankles, moving your fingers, noticing the blood flow, noticing your muscles, maybe they're tired, relaxed. You can come to your happy baby, grabbing onto the outside edges of your feet, bringing your arms on the insides of your knees, and extending your sacrum onto the floor, as well as the back of your neck. So bringing as much of your spine onto the floor, shoulders back and down, and then pulling your hands closer to your body while pushing your feet up to the sky. If you want to shift from left to right, finding some movement, enjoy. Or find stillness, whatever resonates most with you. If you feel playful, maybe extending one leg, maybe the other, maybe both. Keeping your sacrum extended. And whenever you feel ready, have your palms, your soles of your feet touch. Bring them to the floor, letting your knees splay out. 
Your palms are still tucked, finding your reclined butterfly. You can place your right hand on your belly, the left one on your heart. See where it feels better to have your heels closer to your pelvis or further away. And now you can find your normal breath. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. Maybe you can feel your blood flow through your veins and your body slowly become heavier, more relaxed into your pose. You have the option to stay here or extend out all four limbs away from you and allow yourself to take up as much space as physically possible. You can close your eyes if you feel safe. Your palms can be facing up. Feeling your connection to the ground. Feeling your entire body become heavy. Relaxing your shoulders, your jaw, your tongue, the space in between your eyebrows. And imagine now that there is a bright, warm light right above your head. On your inhale, it becomes bigger. And on your exhale, it grows stronger. Observing this light and notice the warmth, its calmness, and the peace that it brings to you. On your next inhale, imagine that you're pulling this light into your heart space. And on your exhale, imagine it to stay and grow even brighter and stronger. On each exhale, it continues to go brighter and bigger. And on your exhale, it continues to go stronger, completely unbothered. It fills up your entire being with this bright, joyful, and warm light. Imagine now to send this bright light all the way to your toes, through your legs, into your hips. Deep inhale. And exhale, letting go of any emotions that may come up. Allow the light to gently carry it away from you. It travels up your beautiful belly and strong back into your gorgeous heart space. Deep inhale, let it go bright. And on your exhale, it takes away all your fear and worry and anxiety and grief, anything you're holding on to. It travels down your arms, through your fingertips, playing around your fingers creatively. And then it travels up into your head space. You can feel it between your eyebrows and your third eye. Deep inhale. 
And on your exhale, you release anything that no longer serves you. Let it all go. On your next deep inhale, you notice that your entire being is glowing in this unique and beautiful and love-filled light. And on your exhale, you allow to share it with the world. You're not hiding it away. You're sharing the beauty, the warmth, the light, the peace, and the kindness with everyone and anyone around you. You feel at peace. Your body is heavy and relaxed, but your heart is light and bright. Staying here for as long as feels good, for as long as resonates. Before you start waking up your body also gently, wiggling your fingers and your toes, rolling up your wrists and your ankles, and maybe shifting your head from left to right. On your next inhale, stretching all forms away from you as far as you physically can and taking up all the space in your body through the stretch and through your breath. Like a big body on you just woke up from your sleep or from a nap. And then releasing everything, bending in one knee at a time, hugging your knees into your chest, maybe wrapping yourself in a love-filled self-hug. Internally saying thank you, I love you, before choosing your favorite side to roll onto, finding your fetal position. Once more, checking in with yourself, how you're feeling, and what you can do to treat yourself better on and off your mat. Which heaviness and darkness you are able to release right here. And whenever you're ready, maybe you want to keep your eyes closed, coming into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Taking your time, grounding your roots into the ground, lifting your head up to the sun. Deep inhale. And exhale, let it all go. Placing your hands on your heart, deep inhale of love. And exhale everything that is not. Again, wrapping yourself in a love filled self hug. Deep inhale of light. And exhale of darkness. And your next inhale, lifting your hands all the way up, maybe palms touch. Maybe you can lift your chin. And on your exhale, bringing your thumbs to your third eye, the space in between your eyebrows. May you have thoughts of wisdom and creativity. Lowering your thumbs to your lips. May you speak brave words of kindness, love, and truth. And then lowering your thumbs to your heart space. May you allow your love and light to shine brightly, sharing it with others and allowing yourself to receive that as well, because you deserve it. The love and light in me sees and honors the love and light in you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through today's class. We bow down to respect our practice and show gratitude. Thank you for being here today.
If you feel inspired to continue your mindfulness journey, please follow this desire of prioritizing the time you're creating for yourself and join me on your mats for more yoga, meditation, breath work, or travel yoga vlogs. Happy today and see you soon.